Let us solve this equation. Uh, solve for x between 0 to 180 degree. Uh, the question is uh, cos 3x plus cos x is equal to cos 2x. So I have copied and pasted these formulas from the formula sheet. And the formula that I should be using is not this one because it's a compound angle formula. I can see cos 3x plus cos x. So the formula that I can see is this formula. So you got cos c plus cos d. So using this formula, so I can see this is 2 cos 3x plus, it is c plus d. So 3x plus x is 4x divided by 2 is 2x times cos 3x minus x is 2x divided by 2 is x is equal to cos 2x. The next step, you you got cos 2x and you got cos 2x. You have the temptation of cancelling it. Okay, you, you cannot cancel, you should not cancel because cos 2x can become 0. Okay, so yeah, let me write it. You should not cancel or oh, let me show it like this. Suppose you may wonder why can't, suppose Suppose in the next step, if you're dividing this side by cos 2x and this side by cos 2x, okay? Can you do this? You can do it provided if, you can say if cos 2x is not equal to 0. Now why? Because in maths, you're not allowed to divide by 0 because when you divide anything by 0, it is it becomes undefined. You're doing something which is not permissible in maths. So here, this step should not be done. Okay, so this is uh, a no-no in maths. Okay, so you should not divide both sides by 2x because cos 2x can become 0. We know, if you know your trig graphs, cos 2x can become 0. So instead of that, I'm going to take away cos 2x from both sides. So I can say this is 2 cos 2x times cos x minus cos 2x is equal to 0. So what should I do? You can factor out the cos 2x. So if you factor out cos 2x, uh, you can write 2 cos 2 cos x from this, side, uh, this term minus 1 is equal to zero. So now this is nothing. These are two equations. So this is, you can set this equal to zero or this equal to zero. So well, I can say therefore cos 2x is equal to zero or 2 cos x minus 1 is equal to zero. Therefore, I can say cos 2x is of course zero. And this means 2 cos x, adding 1 to both sides, you get 1. And dividing both sides by 2, you can get cos 2x is equal to half. Cos x is equal to half. So you've got two equations now, and you need to solve both the equation. Now this cos 2x, I hope you know, has a period of 180 as a period of 180 because 2 tells me that within 360 there are two cycles and you got an amplitude of one year. Here the period is 360. Here the period is 360 and the amplitude, amplitude is also one year. So let me draw first, let us sketch the graph. And we are interested for x values between 0 to 360, but let us graph both the, uh, both the equations, or both the trig equations here. So your ma maximum is 1, so your maximum is 1, and your, your minimum is negative 1. Here you've got a period of 180, so this is a 0, and so this is 180. And so this is halfway, which is 90, and this is 45, this is 135. Here, this is 0. So let me first graph the first equation. So it starts at maximum, baseline, minimum, baseline, 
and maxima okay so this is your first trick uh, cost this is the graph of cos 2x okay now from the graph you can see where is your cos x becoming zero that's your equation so well this is 90 degree this is 45 degree and this is 135 degree this is 135 degree so well the answer from the graph itself you can say your x is 45 degree and 135 degree okay now for cos x is equal to half so let us first graph it first this is maximum so this is zero you got a this is 360 but a period of 360 this is 180 this is 90 and this is 270 your cost graph starts at maximum same the only difference is the period is 360 yeah so we are drawing only one cycle here yeah? so let me use a brown color so this is your cost graph here now if you know uh, so cos x is half so x is cos inverse of half x is cos inverse of half and if you know it's good cos inverse of half is 60 cos inverse of half i know is 60 you can do check this on a calculator so without the calculator so how would you show this so this is say half this is a question this is one and this is negative one so the half comes here so cos inverse of half is this is 60 degree so this is 30 away from 90 this using symmetry this is 30 this is 30 away from 90 so the other value where you get half will be 30 away from 270 this is your two this is 180 this is 90 this is 270 and you got 30 away from here so this is 300 we are not interested in this value but just to explain so the two values where you get half let me explain that so menu run so if you go cos uh, first let me show you that shift cos of 0 0.5 is 60 okay so you can say cos 60 is half and cos 300 if you press cos 300 that will also be half because using symmetry but the answer is we are only interested in this 60 so from this equation you can get one value of x which is 60 degree okay so let us uh, so the three answers are so x is is 45 degree you got 45 degree and then you got 60 degree and 135 degree these are the three answers or these these are three solution between 0 to 180 degree so now how can you do this on a calculator how to check this on a calculator so menu go to graph and type in what was the equation the equation was cos 3x like this 3x in the bracket uh, plus cos x cos x minus cos 2x get a very interesting graph okay and then graph it okay so this is your graph okay so if you want to see the graph better so i'll change from minus three to plus three and see what it looks like so this is your graph okay it's a beautiful graph and you want to find where your you get the roots because when you are taking away cos 2x uh, so what does that mean suppose the graph that we have drawn is if you make this zero so we have drawn the graph of cos 3x plus cos x minus cos 2x to so draw the graph of this and that would be equal to zero okay so let me bring back my calculator so you go g sol and you and you find the root so the first is 45 the next is 60 
and the next is 135. So if you want to go to the next, it is 225 and 300. And uh, up to 360, it is 315 and so on. But we are in interested in solution between 0 to 180.